Hi ladies, hi warrior women, it's Khadija Ali here, the warrior woman. I am coming to you guys today to talk to you about the money jar system. And I actually did a whole video, 14 minutes long, talking to you guys about this money jar system. And I can't get it uploaded. So now I'm back. I'm back to do it again. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right. Do it till I get it right. <laughs> so I'm here. <laughs> so let's get right into it. I'm going to talk to you about how it works and exactly what you do. So here's the money jar system. Here's all the different jars. We have the give jar. Where is it? There it is. There's the give account. We have the education account. We have the necessities account. We have the long-term savings and spending account. We have the play account. And last but certainly not least, we have the financial freedom account. So there's six accounts in total, right? And then what I also have is I have a special jar for my daughter. I'm helping her buy a car. So this is what this jar is. That's what I have it for. And you can do the same thing. You can have whatever you, you want to save for a vacation. You want to save for a car. You want to save for whatever. Here you go. It's, it's, if it's outside of the system, you can just start another jar. Whatever it is. Start it. Here you go. So here we go. We're going to go through this really quick. Because I don't want to do another 14 minute video. Uh, I don't have time like that. Um, I always have time for my warrior women, of course, always, always, but I did a 14 minute video and it can't upload. So I'm just going to go through this as fast as I can. Okay. So how it works is, and let me explain each jar really fast. The give account, of course, is self-explanatory. So if you're, you, you go to church, you know about tithing, you know how important it is to give. If you read your Bible, it tells you about giving and the importance of tithing. So that's what this is. If you're not a churchgoer or if you are part of some other spiritual community, you have some kind of organization or some kind of um, uh, charity uh, that you like to give. And while I'm on the subject of giving and charities, I want to mention a charity that I hold near and dear to my heart. It's called the Beautiful Stones Ministry. You can find it on faithlauncher.com. It is uh, a ministry that one of our fellow warrior woman, Maureen Bobo, she is starting and it's to, to help widows and children. And I please wouldn't urge everyone that's listening to this video to please go to Faith Launcher and find Beautiful Stones uh, ministry and please support it. So while we're on the subject of that, I want you guys to do that. Shameless plug. We got to get in the habit of promoting each other and promoting ourselves, number one. Okay, so let's go to the next jar. This is the education jar. Self-explanatory again. It's the jar that you use when you need to take a class, a workshop, you need to find a book. You should always be learning. As warrior women, we are perpetual, forever and ever and ever learners. Uh, most successful people, they stay learning. They stay humble about the information that they know. They know that there's always another level. We as warrior women, we have to get into that same habit. So this is what this educational account is for. Okay, the next one is necessities, right? That's also self-explanatory. We have, we all have necessities. We have, we all have living expenses. So this is what this jar is for: living expenses, rent, utilities, all that good stuff groceries, everything would come out of that jar. Then, of course, play jar. This is my favorite jar, guys. I love this jar. This is the jar that you play with. So whatever it is you like to do, if you like, um, I don't know, skydiving. We've talked about this. Some of, some of the warrior women in the group, we've talked about skydiving. Like, if that's your thing, more power to you. But I'm just using that as an example. Skydiving, massages, tea, uh, taking yourself out to dinner, whatever you like to do to take care of yourself and have fun. If it's something that you want to do and it, and it requires you or, or it, it, you, you have fun doing it, 
That's what this jar is for. So we're balanced, right? So we have where we're giving to people. We have where we're, we're educating ourselves. We also have where we're taking care of home. We're taking care of our necessities, like it says, right? So then we have our last two jars, and they're very, very important jars. The long-term spending and savings account. And then we also have our financial freedom. Which is what we're all aiming for, right, ladies? Right, warrior women? We're aiming for financial freedom. So let's talk about this long-term spending and savings account, right? I'm going to show that again. That is the jar that you use when you have a big purchase. You know, you want that flat screen TV or you want a, a new couch or, you know, you want a better car. You know, you want to buy another, another car. That is the account that you use for those big purchases. That's what this is for. Um, and then let's talk about last, but certainly not least, in my opinion, the most important jar, it's the financial freedom jar. And this is the jar that you use to invest. This is this only reason you're going to be using this jar, the money out of this jar is to invest, to make yourself more money. So if there's a stock that you're looking to buy or that you want to buy because you believe that it's going to make you more money that's where that money comes out of if you want to invest in a business you want to buy some real estate you want to buy some silver you want to um, start a new business and and you know it's going to make you some more money because the goal is to be financially free then it comes out of this account it comes out of here but this money is never to be spent. It's only to be invested to make you more money. That's the purpose of investing, right? The purpose of investing is to make you more money, right? And of course, like I said, I have my extra little jar here for my daughter. So whatever you have, you might have a vacation fund or whatever it is, you have that. Now, let's get real quick into what you're supposed to do with each jar. Now, ideally... What you do is you take 50% of your income and you put it into your necessities. That's what uh, you're supposed to be spending on your income, uh, out of your income for your necessities. 50%, right? Whew. I don't know if a lot of people are doing that. I certainly am not at that level and at that state yet, right? Soon come. The, the idea is, is to get into the system of what this does for you, right? Because remember, successful people look for systems, Broke people look for work, and we are not broke. We are not claiming broke. That's not what we're about, right, in the Warrior Women's Group. We are about financial freedom. We are about prosperity and abundance, right? So ideally, 50% will go into that necessities jar, and then you would take the other 50% of your income and you would split it between the other five jars. Okay, we don't live in that world yet, right? I know I don't live in that world yet, but the idea is to get into, into the system itself. So what you, go, what you would like to do or what you can do and what I do, I take the amount that I can start out with yet. So if you're not even at the stage where you can take $10 or, or whatever it is, the, the $5, if you can take $5, and start to divide it and take $2.50 and put it into the necessities jar and then break up that other $2.50 into the other five jars, do it. Wherever you are in this system, wherever you can start, that's the idea. The idea is to get into the habit, habit of the system, right? So, for example, I take $250 every month and I divide it. 125 goes into my necessities account and then the other $125 I divide up and then I use it along the month. My income comes in monthly. So I use it uh, throughout the month. I take out whatever I need into necessities, whether it's gas or food or, or whatever it is, and I take that out and I use that money. And then my play account, you know, I might have a little... Um, something to go to or or I like Starbucks. You know, that's my thing. So I'm going to use my play jar to, to get my, my uh, tall, non-fat Oprah chai, you know. Comes out of here, right? Then my education, you know, the other day I needed a book. Uh, you guys, uh, most of you know that I am getting ready to train for a half marathon. I'm saying it publicly on this video to you all. 
I'm getting ready to run a half a marathon, April 2015. So I needed a book to help me train how to do that. So I went into my education, right? Because that's me learning about how to train. Went in here, went to Barnes and Nobles, picked up my $15 book. Boom, done, right? Then my give jar. Now, I do it a little different because I am a thorough believer in giving. You have to give in order to receive, whether it's value, whether it's to help someone, whether it's to sp support a cause. I'm telling you, I promise you all, when you give, you will receive. So last month I gave to Ronald McDonald out of this fund. But I also from time to time give money to other organizations. So for instance, I'm going to bring it up again. Beautiful Stones, go support faithlauncher.com. Type in Beautiful Stones, support the ministry. It's for widows and children and for anyone that's actually experienced the loss, right? So I also give to that ministry. Um, I give to Grameen Foundation. It's a, it's a wonderful foundation that helps women, especially in world, third world countries. Uh, they give them startup money to help them start businesses and it's like a micro loan and they they have to pay it back but it helps them to start up whatever you know um a woman who sews really nice clothes you know it helps her start that so you know that's what I've done with with mine that's what I've done I just wanted to give you guys that example of what it is now warrior women here's my directive for you guys let's get started on this system let's not wait okay Let's not make any more excuses of why, of why we can't. You see how these jars are cheap jars. You know, they're inexpensive. I used to do Young Living. It's a network marketing company. That's what I use this for. You know, I just, I tried to take off the label and then I wrote give account. Then I put a little hole at the top of it so that you can just drop coins in there, right? These are from the dollar store. Dollar Tree. They were all a dollar. I love mason jars. Had some around. This one was from the container store. It was on sale. It was on the little clearance rack they have. I believe in clearance rack. Got this from there. And of course, this one, I went and bought some ricotta cheese. I just repurposed the jar. So it doesn't take a lot. It's very easy. You don't have to start with thousands of dollars. If all you have to divide up and use the system is $5 a month, let's get in the habit. Ladies, I want to hear from you. Talk back to me. Comment. Like. I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts. I love you, warrior women. Have a good night. Mwah. Love you.